What's the most unfair accusation recorded in the Torah? I believe that the answer is in Parshat Korach. On the day after the conclusion of the Korach rebellion, the nation came to Moshe and Aaron and they cried out to them and they said, Atem hamitem et am Hashem. You have killed the people of the Lord. What was the context? Korach had led his rebellion. And he and his followers, numbering altogether 250, laid down the gauntlet. Fascinatingly, Moshe, who was Anav Mikol Adam, more humble than any other person, recognized that this was an occasion on which he would need to show his authority. After all, Korach was not just rebelling against Moshe and Aaron, he was rebelling against Hashem, who had chosen them to be the leaders. Remarkably, it was Moshe's idea to challenge them and to say that if they continued to rebel, a miracle would happen, the earth would open its mouth and would swallow them up. And that's exactly what happened, indicating that Hashem was with Moshe and Aaron all the way. And this was further confirmed when Aaron's rod miraculously produced blossoms and fruit. So the day after the rebellion, when the dust was starting to settle, surely the people should have come to Moshe and Haran to ask, are oh, you okay? Is everything all right? It must have been a terrible ordeal for you. Yashakach, well done for the leadership that you showed. Thank God, Korach is not now our leader. Thank God he won't be providing an irresponsible spiritual legacy for us. But there was nothing of that. Instead, the people came and they said to Moshe and Aaron, you killed Korach and his followers. From here, we learn a very important lesson about conflict. In conflict, there are no absolute winners. We see that in Parshat Vayishlach, when Yaakov is just about to meet up with his twin brother Esav. When the Torah tells us, Vayira Yaakov ma'od vayetzerlo, Yaakov was afraid and he was sorely distressed and Rashi comments, he was afraid lest he be killed. He was sorely distressed lest he be forced to kill another. When there is conflict, nobody can sit back and enjoy peace and quiet with everything being brilliant afterwards. And we further recognize that sometimes in conflict, you might be right. You might be doing absolutely the correct thing. You might have the support of Almighty God, and yet your PR might not be so brilliant. And as a result, people will not understand properly what has happened, and they will accuse you of the worst of crimes. So therefore, from Parshat Korach, we learn an important lesson. Sometimes conflict, or machloket, is important. Sometimes it's the right thing to do. Sometimes it's a mitzvah. However, we should only engage in it when it's really necessary and when it is a last resort. Shabbat Shalom.